Sally! Don't tell me you're out here too. I'm just visiting. Well, aren't you lucky? You got a bad batch. Oh god, the eyes! Make them stop! There was an accident at the lab. Bill didn't get his gas mask on fast enough. Let me sleep, oh god, please! You know, Dr. Verloc keeps trying to make your Blackberry. Keeps jiggering around the formula for coconut, but it's never quite right. Not based on coconut. It's not based on any of the flavours. Well, you might have told Dr. Verloc that. He... wasn't kind to me. I left. We haven't really talked since. Please! Please! No more! No more! If he could just sleep, I think he'd get better. Can you give him some sleep? I can give him something to knock him out, but it's risky. I don't know what's going on. At least help him sleep, for God's sake! All right. I'll do what I can. Sleep tight. Can I make some? Mm -mm. Velvety emulsion? Well, I can make that. And blood toxin. Oh, I can make that too. He'll sleep for a while now. I hope. Why do they have to be so many eyes? There, there, sweetie. Rest if you can. I don't understand. That should have knocked him out. Before we had to leave the village, I bought some quietropine. Mr. Adams had some on the top shelf. That made the eyes go away for a while. Until they came back. Was that yours? Did you make it for Mr. Adams? When you were still his shop girl? Before you traded up to Dr. Verloc? Dottie, it wasn't like that. Anton was so smart, so... I mean, he was stylish. I'd never met anyone like that. And you were just an innocent little chemist's girl, and Dr. V just swept you off your feet. Are you... jealous? Will you give him some quietropine? It's not easy to make, and it's dangerous. Everything he sees has eyes on it. Has he been taking anything else? Aside from the knockout I just gave him, you can't take it if you've been taking anything else. He hasn't taken anything else. Where would we get anything? There's no corner chemist here. There isn't even a corner. Hallucinax now. I feel like I'm just going to give them so much stuff they're just going to die. I love you, Bill. The eyes of God, Dotty. I'm glad. It's all dark. Get some mm. sleep, Bill. I love you. I'll sleep now. Goodbye, Bill. What did you do? <sighs> you wouldn't understand. You've never really loved a man. You gave him something else, didn't you? I'm going back to the village now. There are some things I won't need anymore. I buried them behind this house. You don't mind getting your hands dirty, do you? Well, I sucked. Soviets take Madrid. There's a lot of notes here that I haven't read. I just haven't really felt like reading them. Uh, this I'll read, though. Scrap from the Il Quran, October 30th, 1949. Sir Robert Bing states that he has sent a sternly worded letter to the provisional government of the Spanish Democratic Republic. It is impossible for dozens of children to simply disappear, and it is unthinkable that the Soviet authorities would use our children as a bargaining chip with the Americans. Even communists are parents. A sternly worded letter. Oh, it's just right there, the dick spot. Here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
I still don't have a lockpick. Uh, all right then. There might be really good stuff in there, much better than a normal dig spot because it's a kind of special dig spot. I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to leave that as a custom waypoint because once you've dug it up, it isn't marked on the map as a dig spot anymore. And we'll come back there. I hope the general's not in one of his old poor me moves. It's such a chore dragging him out of them. If he's cheery. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle, we weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French, ma'am. I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys? Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, while the stye accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office. Miss Boyle! I won't be happy to see you. He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know boats. Sally! Suppose you drift away, sir. How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. I realise you must be out of rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours, my dear. It's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing, last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Sally's got a... baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. <laughs> you can lie with the truth. Your cruel's a toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. God knows what he'd do to a baby. You might have told me. She's not your bloody baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but... They made everyone so unhappy. Can... can you get us out? I might be able to get her out, if I'm very clever, but... No. I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I have a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I'd have thought you'd be grateful. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? A girl like you never is. <laughs> I think you know the way out. All right. 
I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the cod liver oil. Oh, I hope he sent me something on the blower. Wait. If the General's got the boat in the boathouse, if I can get it working, maybe I can get us out of here. That's what I was thinking. So we know how Arthur got out. I figured Sally must have gotten out as well. But just didn't actually know how. It's probably the boat. I wonder about Ollie though. Do they get out and how? God, the general's such a fucking creep. I want to go back in there and kill them, but I'm sure I can't. I have 16 points. Do I still want to spend it on Hustler? Shopkeeper thing. I don't think there's any like combat abilities I can get. Well, there's Backstabber, but that's... Uh, I'm not really worried about doing more damage on unaware enemies. Yeah, let's get the Hustler. So, before I go to the boathouse... Can I just, like, look around here for stuff? Wait, are we outside? Oh, it put, it, it put us outside. I thought we were still inside. Never mind. No looting the inside, but I can go around the side and see if I can open up that place now. Now with the double drug thing, by the way, normally you'd make 10 flashes, this drug, uh, at a time, but now I make 20. So I have I just made two batches of it and I've got 40 of them. So I'm going to be using that pretty much 24-7. No? Excuse me, excuse me. Ah, this place. I remember I found it as Arthur, but I can never go into it. I can't open the door, can they? Uh, let's go. <laughs> Just in case they can. It is here. The General's Bristol pilot. My god, if I could steal a boat... But does it work? Oh, it looks really nice. Miss Boyle! How lovely to see you! You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. It don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats. And you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently, that makes me the General's expert on boats. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is that what sort of boat it is? Did about 20 leagues, but it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for lake patrols. We tried to patch up a Q-boat during the occupation, but... We couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid... Maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. You know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right. But don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the General be surprised? It'll be a heckin' big surprise when the boat's just gone one day. I don't know who you're trying to fool, Mum. Talking all posh like that. You think Prince Charming's going to come visiting with a glass slipper? I hope not. He's already married to Snow White. Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Don't be smart. Nobody likes a smart girl. Thanks, Mom. So do I just go back up? I was hoping this might lead to the hatch. 
Could unlock that one, but it's not. Well, Gwen, oh, we may just make it out of here alive after all. I just need to get Dr. Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. And I guess I'll need to steal the General's key to the boat. All right. First things first. Who can Kill the General. Boats? Oh, okay. Hmm. Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Yes! Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walk the rail tunnels all the way back to Maiden Home. I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Never heard. Thank you for interrupting, asshole. Okay, so finally we get to unlock that thing. Ooh, that looks nasty. Who drinks that much whiskey? I take it all he's been here. They're not even empty bottles. Ew. Brilliant. Now I Oh, that crazy old pirate. He must know about boats. They can't be hard to find. He's always at the pub. Blueprint go go juice. What is that? I wish I weren't such rubbish at tinkering. I wonder if it's even better than Flash. Extra strength Sanitol. Coagulon. Coagulon. Thickens the blood so you can keep more of it inside you. Reduces bleeding rate for new wounds. I don't really care about that. And I need a beefy pituitary fluid. Sorry, not pituitary. Pituitary. Dexapam. Now you can go all day. Well, a bit longer anyways. Ask your doctor if Dexapam is right for you. Permanently increases maximum stamina by a moderate amount. Oh, hell yeah. Night blooming nonsuch, sugar, empty syringe. The big limiting thing here is going to be, I guess, probably sugar and phytosteroid. New improved Sanitol is even more effective. Permanently increases maximum health by a moderate amount. Okay, that would be amazing too. I need pituitary fluid for that though. Maxes out health points and increases the user's stamina regeneration rate for a short time. Hmm. Need common pituitary fluid. Tea leaves. Oh, it makes 10 with each batch. Nice. Use their stamina regeneration rate for a short time. I wonder if that means that it would only matter when you're not sprinting. Because you don't regenerate while you're sprinting, right? So it just means when you're like not sprinting or using up stamina, it'll come back faster. Not quite the same as like Flash, where it allows you to go longer. And faster. Thexapam permanently increases maximum stamina by a moderate amount. Wait. Is that a better version? Maximum stamina by a moderate amount. Maximum stamina by a moderate am amount. What? They do the same thing. I guess it's just an alternative way of making the same thing. Huh. Yeah. This takes pituitary fluid. And this takes sugar and no pituitary fluid and none such. So yeah, it's a different group of ingredients. Overdrive. Slow auto healing factor that lasts for 24 hours per dose. Hmm. That's a long time. And it makes 10. So th that's enough for 10 days worth. Which is probably the whole rest of the game for me. <laughs> Stoic. Counteracts joy. Subsequent exposure to joy temporarily has no effect. 
I think I needed to make sunshine for uh, that creepy asshole in the park who was trying to slip it to the person that they're they want to be with to see if they actually love them or something. I don't know if I want to do that quest anymore. The more I think about it. Can I make um, phytosteroid? No, what am I missing? Yams. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I've been eating my yams because they're so good. I guess I shouldn't. Cabinets, cabinet tops, and where you least expect. Hello, Miss Boyle. Usual. Oh, I'm afraid I'm looking for someone. He's not here. He's, he's just stepped out. Don't know when he'll be back. <laughs> Where's the pirate? Does he owe you money, too? No, I want to talk with him about boats. He ran out looking for Eddie. The meat boy. Said he was on Wednesday's Hill. Eddie McMillan? What's he doing there? What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? What? Elephino. Watch yourself out there. The old name for that hill wasn't Wednesday. That's goddamn creepy. They've taken him. Poor, poor Eddie. Who's taken Eddie? The cultists. Up on the hill. The yam people. It's not yams they worship. They, it's too horrible. You have to stop them. They're gonna kill him. I wish I could do it. I'm too scared. Oh God. I just, my legs have got all watery. I'm a coward, Miss Boyle. A coward. I'll do my best. Don't go anywhere. Save him, Miss Boyle. Please. Great excuse to get some yams. That looks like a dead rat that they stuffed. I don't think that's like a teddy bear kind of thing. Ooh. They're going to cut his heart out. I don't think I want to fight all these vegetable worshippers. I wouldn't I mind. If there's a way I could drug them. Oh, look. They're drinking out of a chalice. Hear the words. Man, Meat Boy really had a bad couple of days. It couldn't have been long after this. It, it must have been after this. That they got both of their legs broken by the, the gang of whatever they were called. So the old no, one, please, whose no, names don't are kill secret, me. requires knockout juice. Could I just kill them myself if I wanted to? Do I have the stuff for knockout juice? I don't. I don't. I need one histoplasm. And are there any around here? Said, whispered in the shadow of the new moon. When I wear my cloak of shadow. Ye shall assemble Save in me. some Save secret me. place Please. and adore me. And I That's will teach it. you things <laughs> Okay, I don't want to kill the meat boy, so I gotta be careful. I also want to be very careful not to blow myself up. Oh, Jesus. Please! Help! Alright, screw it. <laughs> Alright, that worked. Please have yams on you. The Eager Cleaver? Is that what I already have? They don't have any yams on them. Uh, yeah it is, except that theirs is one hit away from breaking. Thank you! Thank you, thank you! They promised me something! 
sweets if I came along with them. But there weren't any, and they tied me up. You mustn't trust strangers, Eddie. I know. But I can trust you, can't I? You're good. And Arthur, he's good too. Percy always said so. Yeah. Arthur's bloody brilliant. Look, you wait here. I'll send someone to get you home. Wait a minute, their legs are broken again. Hold on. What is what does this mean for the timeline of We Happy Few? Does that mean I mean I think this happened before the events in Arthur's storyline. If they happened before, then that means this cult broke their legs and then the gang I don't know. Rebroke them? I mean I'm sure they wouldn't heal in a couple days. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the gang just didn't break his legs. Maybe they just kicked him and punched him or something, but their legs were already broken. Or maybe this is taking place after the stuff with Arthur, in which case Meat Boy's legs were already broken and in a, like in bandages and in a cast and stuff. And they hobbled along with the cultists to get candy and then the cultist took him off. Why would they take him? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let's try not to think about it. I don't think there's much sense to it. I can still drug the chalices. Oh, hold on. Nice. You saved him! I wish I had! I love that lad! He's one of the best people I know! Yeah! He'll need you to carry him home. Listen, Captain, I need to fix up a Bristol pilot. The, uh, a General's. Oh, that's a beauty! I love that boat! Clean lines, beautiful woodwork. I was just reading about it. Could I... Could I borrow your book? Oh, sure. Here we go. Least I can do. After I didn't save Eddie, keep it. You'll need it more than I do. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I haven't been in a boat in 15 years. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a sovereign for a thirsty pirate, would you? I feel smarter about boats already. When is Arthur getting that cod liver oil? Maybe he's got it. Maybe he's already sent a note on the blower. I'm so close to our playground. Maybe I should just see if he's there. And see how things are going. Hi. You're still in town. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Have you got my letter of transit, then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. You look... rough. What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want, always what you need, every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Am I really that awful? What? Just because you seduced my dad in my mum's bed while you were staying in our house? How was I supposed to tell him no? I'd never anywhere else to go. Um, sorry. Here. Let's go together. We're two musketeers. I'm scared, Arthur. Aren't you? <sighs> it's going crazy out there. We have to go now. Wait, wait. I have to go back to my place first. Why? And we sort of have to wait till dawn. Oh, God, no. There's something I have to tell you. No, th th that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. I've got a baby.
It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Arthur? Arthur? Did he even hear me? Of course he heard you. He just didn't care. At least he brought the cod liver oil. At least that. I've got to get it to Gwen as fast as I can. He really didn't care because Arthur's a piece of shit. Sally Boyle! Eddie McMillan's looking for you. He wouldn't tell me what it was, but he seemed pretty... Well, pretty distressed. Even for Eddie. All right. Thanks. Hmm. Maybe I should get down to the pub and see what he's worried about. Well, before that, I was on the way over here to do something. Remember I'm supposed to give them sunshine? This prick. And they want to drug the person that they want to love or think loves them just to see whether they actually love them so that they'll temporarily be off joy. Anyway. Just taking a load off. Ah, ah. Out. 